What's up Bakugan fans, it's D Hart. I have the Bakugan Evolutions Aralis Neo Feral. New Bakugan popping up in stores. I got this guy from Target, although I think he's in Walmarts right now too. Can't wait to pop him open and see if he's gonna be strong for the Bakugan Pro Trading Card game. So I will rip him open right here. He's got a lot of these little plastic guys, so gotta take scissors to him like surgery. Whoa, don't cut his wing off. Chill, go slow. Okay, we've got the dark orange, the gold with the light. This is so different than the past feral molds. So this is pretty fun to finally get a new one. Um, I think, have they used the same feral mold forever? Like for the first three years? I think they did, didn't they? Or was he just around for a year, like two and three? Year two. That's right, Armored Alliance. This one is cool. Really, really cool. I like it better than the other one. All right, let's close him. Let's see. Legs, head. Looks like his wings gotta go first, I think. And then the back. All right. Okay, cut to the roll scene. The roll! There we go, solid. All right, now here are the cards. The card, the only card, the character card. Throwback to the days when they used to come with an action card. That's what got me into this game. I love it so much. Can't wait for it to come back. One day, who knows, who knows. 300, 300, plus and minus. So he's got two shields coming with him. Here's the gate card. All right, Demork and Falcron Ultra. Here's the character card. Ooh, fancy, fancy, fancy. I like the art, I like the black outlines. He's popping. Uh, two shields, 100 B, one damage, so that's kind of crazy. <laughs> I mean, that's as bad as it gets. I know the, the buff on the bottom is gonna make him strong, but just base stats of 101 <laughs> is, is the worst. It's as bad as you can get, it's so bad, but if he gets a shield and he lands on this shield, 300, so he's at 400B, plus another 400, he's at 800, and then he's gonna add a magic shield, either one from your own team or one from your opponent, he is 1450. But he's still one damage, isn't he? So 1450 and one. And you've taken a core from the Matrix, so you can use things like Trifecta or Domination, meaning that you have more cores or you have three cores on your Bakugan to get bonuses. That could be an easy play here. But it's kind of crazy that he only sticks with one damage. After all those shenanigans, he only has one damage to his name. Uh, you'd need to put a gear on him to get some damage. Because even at 1450, he's not crazy strong. So he's like middle tier. Maybe lower middle tier because the damage is so low. Um, and he needs a gear. But the toy is awesome. The card is awesome. I love them both. Let me know what you think. You gonna run out and grab this guy or is he a hold? Thanks for watching. Catch more later.